The Clover Food Lab in Newtonville held an official ribbon cutting opening with the proceeds of all the sales going to Newton Schools Foundation. This won't be the last time the Clover Food Lab donates to local charities. Jen Adams has their story. What started out as a single food truck in 2008 has expanded into now 13 locations throughout the Boston area, including Newton at the Trio Building in Newtonville. Clover Food Lab's menu is an enticing menu for those who usually eat meat without actually serving meat. We're trying to serve food to people who love eating meat, but there's, there's no meat here. And, and I, if we achieve that goal, we have a really positive impact on global warming. Founder Air Muir says while his background at MIT has nothing to do with the climate, what he read in 2007 is that the meat industry is the number three contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. I never thought of food as being an environmental action, but as you look into it, you know, you'll find, if you don't already know this, that for most people, um, the, the strongest steps they can take to combat global warming is really changing what they eat each day. And it's fun because it's a choice we can make ourselves. We have full autonomy over this choice and we had to make it three or more times a day. And, um, and the more of us that, that shift our diet toward more meals with vegetables and not meat, um, collectively we'll start to have a really serious impact. And already Clover's current scale is the equivalent of taking 20,000 automobiles off the roads in Boston in terms of the impact we have on global warming emissions. So, AIR set out to invent a new approach to food consumption with the help of everyone involved. We have an open food development process and customers, suppliers, hourly staff members at Clover, they all bring recipe ideas to us and we taste them and figure out what should be on the menu. One customer asked for his childhood favorite to become part of the menu, so AIR set out to make it happen. We had a customer who, uh, who was from Italy and he said this was like peanut butter and jelly when I was a kid. It was the most comforting, delicious thing I'd look forward to at the end of a school day. And uh, we took a trip to Sicily and ate all of the panelli we could get our hands on and, uh, and came back and worked on a recipe. And um, we're incorporating locally grown young fennel that we shave really finely uh, and some local herbs. That's why we're selling it this time of year and it's a beautiful sandwich. If that sounds good to you, you better hurry. The menu at Clover changes constantly with 80% of the items gone each month. What's available is related to what's, um, what's available in New England right now. We have you know, our lemonade, we have a strawberry lemonade right now and we have a rhubarb agua fresca right now. Um, in a few weeks, the strawberries will be gone and we'll probably have blueberries. And a few weeks later, we'll probably have melon and you know, it, it always keeps changing, which um, is something that I think is a lot of fun. It maybe takes a little adjustment um, if you're used to things being the same all the time, but uh, the upside is you get to taste things when they're at their peak. And a Massachusetts grown strawberry, you know, at its perfect ripeness is not anything like a strawberry in January. And so, um, you know, we, we respect the ingredients and it allows us to funnel the money we collect from customers back to farmers that are working really hard to build the soils and build their businesses in New England. Proceeds from the grand opening of the Clover Food Lab in Newton goes to the Newton Schools Foundation. And throughout the year, more fundraisers for nonprofits will be held. But all year, the focus is on local farms and customer experiences. We also have other kinds of events to engage the community. We have cooking classes, knife skills classes. We provide space in our restaurants for local farms to drop off their community supported agriculture boxes so you can get a, a farm share from a, from a regional farm uh, and, and they can actually drop it here for you to pick up. So we have space for that and all of our restaurants do that. It's a pretty big program. Currently we, um, we generate about two or three million dollars in incremental sales for local farmers by giving them access to communities like Newton that they may not otherwise be able to sell to. So there's a lot of different things we do and we're excited to bring all those things to Newton. Clover Food Lab menus, CSA information and other helpful links are available online at cloverfoodlab.com. Jen Adams, Newton News, Newtonville.